Hi everyone, welcome to Ahmed Academy and welcome to this video on tooth wear, tooth surface loss. So in this video we'll be discussing the types of tooth wear, their causes and also finally their management. It helps me out a lot if you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos like this. What is tooth wear, tooth surface loss? Tooth wear is defined as the loss of tooth tissue by the means of other than bacteria. There are four different types, attrition, abrasion, erosion and abfraction. And throughout this video I'm going Going to be discussing their definitions their potential cause and presentation and also little tips on how to remember each one to begin with attrition is the wear of teeth following contact with opposing teeth this is a normal physiological action when teeth are grinding food together during mastication for example and in patients with parafunctional habits such as bruxism attrition related tooth wear can be very significant attrition may lead to loss of occlusal vertical dimension which is the distance between the base of the nose and the chin patients Patients presenting with tooth wear as a result of attrition often have flat incisal and occlusal surfaces with loss of surface texture and morphology on the affected surfaces. Um, so the way I remember attrition, the fact that is teeth to teeth contact grinding away is the two T's on attrition, so teeth to teeth contact. Moving on to abrasion, abrasion is the loss of tooth surface material caused by friction against the tooth with an extrinsic agent uh, such as toothbrush or floss, the characteristic appearance of abrasion induced cavities is in their location along the cervical margin of the teeth along the labial buccal and interdental regions the lesions are often associated with a type of brush bristle amount of force used frequency of brushing and abrasiveness of toothpaste so this type of tooth wear is related to extrinsic objects eroding away tooth surface whereas in attrition it was tooth to tooth contact and that can be related to the type of brush the patient is using that amount of force they are using to the brush their teeth and the abrasiveness of their toothpaste. Moving on to erosion, dental erosion can be defined as the loss of hard tooth structure by chemical means. Notably acids, the acids involved in the erosive process are non-carious origin so they're not from bacteria uh, that causes caries and maybe intrinsic or extrinsic. So intrinsic acids can be from conditions such as gourd where patients would regurgitate acid from their stomach into their mouth which causes erosion uh, or extrinsic acids which can be in their diet uh, such as fizzy drinks or fruit juices uh, and the occlusal surfaces of molars can be affected due to the way in which acids are emitted from the gastrointestinal tract this can lead to cupping out of the occlusal surfaces so this is a key feature of uh, erosion caused by acid reflux cupping on specific teeth such as molars and premolars that you can see is evident on patients that are suffering from this condition so it is mainly caused by intrinsic acids from your stomach during vomiting or during reflux of acid if you're suffering from conditions such as gourd and also intrinsic acids coming from your diet such as your fizzy drinks and fruit juices with presentation like this. A fraction is really hard to diagnose but it's described as non-carious cervical tooth wear thought to be caused by micro fractures of the cervical enamel rods due to repeated compression and flexure of the teeth under occlusion loading. Like abrasion wear of this type can also present as v-shaped notches at the cervical margin of the teeth. So as evident here teeth are within a socket of bone and they tend to move around flex as the patient bites down and sometimes this flexure can rub the tooth the cervical margin of the tooth against the socket causing wear over time really hard to diagnose this one and usually we would classify it as abrasion caused by uh, brushing or any other extrinsic objects going into the mouth. So how do we record and um, you know give preventative advice relating to tooth wear? So tooth wear is mainly in the UK recorded using the basic erosive wear examination index. I know this is specifically made for erosion but it can certainly be applied to other methods of tooth surface loss. I will be making a separate video covering BWE so I won't go too far into it. So the mouth is just like BPE divided into six equivalent divisions each division is scored between zero and three and over time you can monitor that to see if the patient is responding to your preventative advice and what steps you need to take depending on what score they've got in a BWE examination. And moving on to its overall management of tooth surface loss is to first find a causative factor and treat this first before any restorative work because uh, no matter what you do to restore those surfaces if the patient can 
continues to do what they've been doing and relating to their diet or parafunctional habits they have then in no time they will be back to square one and wearing a splint night guard if they are uh, broxing or grinding their teeth away can help a lot giving them diet advice in terms of what they consume such as extrinsic acids that they're putting into their system that can also help management of conditions such as gourd bulimia and bruxism oral hygiene instructions is a good way to address abrasion as patients normally are scrubbing too hard the brushing too often or using a very abrasive toothpaste so giving them instructions and advice on how to adapt can help them a lot and reduce the chances of progression and monitoring over time to see how your patients are responding to your advice finally thank you so much for watching and i recommend you guys go watch our videos on pericoronitis and informed consent informed consent being a key one uh, which is going to be important in cases where you're dealing with tooth wear you want to make sure the patient is aware of everything and then they comply and get on board with treatment these videos can be found in the description section below as well as the card so i'll catch you guys in the next one